So let's talk a little bit about the use case for hydrogen because, uh, you know, for the benefit of most of our listeners who have seen uh, discussions about electric vehicles, uh, here we're talking beyond just mobility. Of course, there is a mobility application for hydrogen and it's probably related to your, your own use case on distance travel and things like that. But beyond mobility, hydrogen can be used for many things. Can you talk a little bit about what are the applications for hydrogen uh, uh, in the energy mix? I think the first application that comes to mind other than the distributed microgrids mm -hmm. or mini grids that uh, I uh, spoke about uh, is using hydrogen as a basic building block to build a lot of uh, biofuels. Uh, so hydrogen and carbon, they are the basic building blocks. So if I am able to capture carbon, which is uh, available in plenty in India, mm -hmm. and if uh, uh, green hydrogen is also uh, part of the play, we will be able to provide uh, biofuels especially to the hard to abate industries like aviation or shipping uh, or even the uh, industries like cement or steel that you mentioned earlier. Uh, and this, I think, uh, is a game changer in, in, in that sense, which uh, bringing to your question on how do we get uh, uh, ourselves more and more independent? How do we you know, uh, uh, stop our vulnerability on uh, the global fuel uh, story? Uh, so this is important. Uh, the other part, of course, is uh, the farm to fork value chain, which, uh, in my opinion, is a very, very important value chain for India and also for the world. Uh, I'll just throw in some numbers. We talk about 118 million farmers who have land holdings less than two hectares. And if these become productive, they can produce food grain, which is equivalent to two times what the world needs. So we're talking about a revolution of sorts. But today they are very vulnerable and they are also not productive because of their energy story and if we are able to solve this energy puzzle for them uh, we are talking about not only saving on uh, water we are talking about increasing the soil fertility we are talking about increasing productivity we are talking about 118 million small scale enterprises getting developed in this country just imagine what revolution that can happen so this is another very important use case so bringing all of this together, it is the microgrid, you know, end of the day, whether you look at producing biofuels mm -hmm. or you look at producing electricity, it is these microgrids that uh, we hybridize either with a solar battery and a fuel cell using hydrogen or uh, using a biogas or using a methanol or using kerosene. All of these derived out of hydrogen as the base. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's how I see things moving. <laughs>